Hi, I'm Ryan with truckspring.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about airline and fittings. Airlines are typically only used on semi trucks because they run air suspension and air brakes, but airlines will also be used on pickups and passenger cars that are running airbag kits. Starting with the airline itself, on semi truck you'll normally find rubber or this nylon reinforced plastic line. And on light truck and passenger car, you'll find mostly this nylon reinforced line, and on some special airlift kits, you'll find stainless steel braided line. Plastic airline, being the most common, is the least expensive and the easiest to work with. In our stock, we carry 532nd size all the way up to 3 quarter inch. This size is measured as the outer diameter of the airline. Cutting this airline is easy, but all cuts should be clean and square. Using an airline cutter is the best tool for this job. If you don't have an airline cutter, a sharp new utility knife blade will do the trick. No old blades and no dull blades that are going to crush the line. Moving on to the air fittings, there are two different styles like you see here. Compression and push to connect. Compression is a typically non-reusable style fitting, better for permanent connections, where the push to connect are easier to use in a pinch and good for repairs. The compression style fitting uses a stiffener, which can be attached to the fitting, or separate, which keeps from the airline being crushed when you're tightening it. The nut, the ferrule, go on the line first. The stiffener is slid into the line and the ferrule and nut are tightened against the body of the fitting itself. When this nut is tightened enough, it will crush that ferrule into the line and into the fitting body and create an airtight seal. Moving on to the newer push connect style fittings, cuts are very important on the plastic line when it comes to these fittings. Because there's an o-ring internal that makes the air seal, you must have a straight and clean cut and make sure that it's free of burrs. When making connections with push to connect fittings, you simply slide the airline in, you will feel it slide past the o-ring, and then pull it and it's locked in place. These fittings can be reused by pushing the line into the fitting and holding the locking ring and pulling the line out. I also wanted to cover how easy it is to do an on-the-road repair using a quick connect or push to connect union. In front of you I have two quarter inch airlines and a quarter inch push to connect union. If you happen to have a damaged airline that was leaking, they could be cut square and clean like we discussed earlier and using a union both lines can be installed creating a permanent and airtight repair getting you back on the road. Finally, I wanted to show you braided airline. This is only included in airlift, load lifter, ultimate plus kits, or their ultimate plus upgrade kit. This is a stainless steel covered braided line, which is extremely resistant to abrasion and cut. These lines cannot be repaired and can't be trimmed, but they do come with AN style fittings which give you unlimited opportunities for connection and disconnection without damaging the line or ruining the seal. These lines are best used on trucks that will see extreme weather conditions or a lot of off-road use, but they do have to use conversions to move to an air compressor, and the fittings can sometimes be hard to find being an AN style or Army Navy style. When it comes to airline and fittings for automotive use, the combination and possibilities are almost endless. From 90s and 45s to push to connect and pipe thread fittings, it can be a little overwhelming trying to find the right parts for your job. If you need help, please feel free to comment in the video below or reach out to us at truckspring.com. And thanks again for watching.